Your Excellency, uh, Minister Taro Kono, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my ASEAN colleagues, it is a great pleasure that we welcome Minister Kono to our meeting today. Uh, allow me to convey our congratulations to Your Excellency on your recent appointment as Minister of Foreign Affairs of Japan. All of us are looking forward to working with you, and we are very pleased to have you here during this special occasion for ASEAN as we commemorate our 50th anniversary. Our relations with Japan is one of ASEAN's most important, and Japan's unwavering support of ASEAN has been invaluable. Over the past 44 years, many close friends from Japan have worked side by side with us to shape and strengthen our cooperation. These personal relationships among key individuals set in place a solid foundation for the rapid advancement in ASEAN-Japan relations. So as we commemorate ASEAN's 50th anniversary, it is also fitting to recognize the many Japanese foreign ministers who have made important contributions to the ASEAN-Japan partnership. One close friend of ASEAN that helped to guide our relations in the early years was His Excellency Shintaro Abe, the father of the present Prime Minister. His tenure as Foreign Minister between 1982 to 86 was especially important to Brunei Darussalam because we had just joined ASEAN in 1984. One of the areas of focus he placed for our cooperation was on projects that brought the people together and helped develop greater understanding. And we are pleased that since then, Japan continued to be a leader in advocating people-to-people, -people, youth, and cultural exchanges with ASEAN. Impressively, initiatives under Jenny's program, which is now in its 10th year, have involved over 30,000 youths. Combined with other popular activities such as the SHIP for Southeast Asia Youth Program, or some may know it as the Love Boat, ASEAN and Japan have continued to build networks and bonds of friendship, which serve as a strong foundation for our future cooperation. Excellencies, Foreign Minister Shintaro Abe also saw the potential in ASEAN economic development. In 1985, together with the ASEAN foreign ministers, they pushed for cooperation in areas of trade, investment, and transfer of technology. With Japan's support, ASEAN's industrialization and economic transformation was remarkable, with some of our countries doubling their GDP between 1980s to the mid-1990s. On the economic front, this was one of Japan's greatest contribution to our region. And today, Japan remains one of ASEAN's most important trading partners with two-way trade in 2016, totaling 221.7 billion US dollars. Conversely, ASEAN is Japan's third largest trading partner with total trade around 183.8 billion US dollars. And Japan is also ASEAN second largest source of foreign direct investment with 13.36 billion US dollars invested in ASEAN last year. So looking forward, our future in the economic sphere has great promise, especially as ASEAN and Japan are working towards doubling trade and investment flows by 2022. In all these efforts, we value the contribution of the ASEAN Japan Center that has continued to facilitate and promote our regional economic engagement, tourism, and ASEAN awareness. Excellencies, another close friend of ASEAN, who I personally remember, is Your Excellency's father, His Excellency Yohi Kono. Between 1994 to 1996, his tenure as foreign minister, we were at a critical junction in the formation of regional architecture. ASEAN was reaching out to its external partners and trying to firmly set in place the ASEAN Regional Forum with a common approach to what we now know as preventive diplomacy. 
His Excellency Yohiko Kono came to Brunei Darussalam in 1995 and lent his strong personal support to our efforts. And thanks to his contribution, we were able to adopt the ARF concept paper, which solidified the three stages of confidence building, preventive diplomacy, and conflict resolutions in the ARF and our regional architecture. Today, ASEAN and Japan have continued their close partnership in other regional mechanisms, including the ASEAN Plus Three, the East Asia Summit, and the ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting Plus. In all these processes, we have appreciated Japan's active participation and support for ASEAN creativity, centrality. At the same time, we remain committed to the maintenance of regional peace and security as demonstrated through our work with Japan on implementing our declaration on combating terrorism and transnational crime and in other areas of security cooperation. Excellencies, overall, we deeply appreciate Japan's generous contribution towards ASEAN's development and community building. The Japan ASEAN Integration Fund has financed over 657 million US dollars worth of projects and activities aimed at enhancing capacity building and connectivity. And we also recognize the role of the Economic Research Institute for ASEAN and East Asia area and welcome the commitment to provide 100 million US dollars for the next 10 years. So looking forward, there's good reason to be optimistic about the future of ASEAN-Japan strategic partnership. And I'm pleased to announce that today, we will be adopting the revised implementation plan of the vision statement. This plan will provide practical ways to further strengthen the, our relationship and reaffirm our shared commitment to be partners for peace and stability, prosperity, quality of life, and heart-to-heart -heart partners. So thank you very much. Uh, that's my contribution for the opening remark. Can I uh, invite uh, Minister Kono for your opening remark? Thank you. Honorable ministers, it is my honor to serve as co-chair with His Excellency Mr. Lim jong Sen, Second Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Brunei. I would like to express my gratitude for the warm hospitality rendered by the Philippines. Thank you. This is actually my international debut. And uh, I have lived and worked in ASEAN for two years. I have visited every single country except Laos. I will be coming to Laos as soon as possible. Let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to all of you as this year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of ASEAN. Japan has consistently supported political and economic development of ASEAN since the first Japan ASEAN summit meeting in 1977. Over the past four years, Japan has implemented official development assistance amounting to more than 2.3 trillion yen based on the guideline for Japan ASEAN cooperation called Vision Statement on ASEAN Japan Friendship and Cooperation formulated in 2013. Japan has been steadily contributing to ASEAN's sustainable growth through the development of quality infrastructure that meets international standards and human resource development in a wide range of areas spanning from education to industry. Japan strongly supports the centrality and integrity of ASEAN and will continue to assist further integration of the ASEAN communities. We will do so by closely coordinating with ASEAN on its principles and needs. From this perspective, it is a great pleasure for Japan and ASEAN to announce today the revised implementation plan of the vision statement based on new visions and plans by ASEAN. In addition, I would like to announce our official decision on launching negotiations on Japan-ASEAN Technical Cooperation Agreement. I firmly believe 
that this agreement will contribute to expand the Japan-ASEAN relationship as agreement will enable JICA to provide assistance for plans and projects that ASEAN communities seek to advance in addition to Japan's existing bilateral assistance to respective ASEAN member state. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your statement, uh, Minister Kono.